I really enjoy watching Matt's off-road recovery. They do a great job of getting people unstuck. The question is, do they use the best recovery rope? Let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which kinetic energy rope has the most stretch. Then we'll make 25 pulls with the ropes and we'll see how much they stretch. And Cousin Eddie got the Farmabago stuck in the pond and we'll see if one of the snatch ropes can get them out. Finally, we'll cut open a rope and see how they're constructed. At a price of only $50, the least expensive recovery rope we'll be testing is made by Sergeant Knotts. It claims it can handle up to 30,000 pounds of tensile force. It's supposed to reduce the sudden jerking and stress on both vehicles. Two to three times tougher than traditional nylon straps and more resilient than steel cables. The Sergeant Knotts rope is made in China. All the toe straps we'll be testing are 30 feet in length and they're either 7 8 or 1 inch in diameter. And a Sergeant Knotts rope weighs just over 8 pounds. Before we kick off our first test for the recovery ropes, let's first establish our baseline using a chain. And Cousin Eddie is literally overseeing the first test from on top of the Farmabago. We'll first see what we can do with the tow chain and two-wheel drive. I don't want to get a running start because I don't want to experience the shock load. Let's see how much pulling force the old Suburban offers and two-wheel drive on dry ground. To simulate the RV being stuck, the parking brake is set on the Farmabago and the brakes are also applied. And the Suburban's rear wheels are losing traction at a peak force of 1,980 pounds. Let's see if the Suburban can drag the Farmabago in four-wheel drive. And a Suburban made it to just over 4,000 pounds of force and the tires are spinning. Let's go ahead and use a tractor and chain combination to see how much force it takes to move the Farmabago. Even in two-wheel drive, the tractor made very easy work of dragging the Farmabago, reaching a peak force of 5,826 pounds. And the Suburban is almost 2,000 pounds short of getting Cousin Eddie's Farmabago pulled out of the mud. Before we test the ropes, let's straighten out the ropes with around 150 pounds of force and measure the length. We'll measure the length once again after the testing. And a Sergeant Knott's rope is very close to 31 feet and 4 inches. At a price of $80 is this Enclake Kinetic Recovery and Tow Rope. Stretches up to 30% under load. We're going to test that. It claims it can handle up to 28,660 pounds. The Enclake is made in China. And the Enclake weighs 8.67 pounds. And the Enclake rope is starting off at 29 feet and 2 inches. At a price of $123 is this Fiery Red brand. It's made of 100% nylon 66. It has a minimum braking strength of 29,300 pounds. It comes with two soft shackles that are rated for 43,000 pounds. The Fiery Red is made in China. And the Fiery Red is very light at only 6.98 pounds. And the Fiery Red rope is starting off a little long at 30 feet and 9 inches. At a price of $150 is this Rhino USA brand. Most of the toe straps we'll be testing have a diameter of 7 eighths of an inch, but the Rhino USA is 1 inch. It has a braking strength of 34,370 pounds. They claim it's able to stretch and store four times more energy than a toe strap. The Rhino USA is made in China. And the Rhino USA weighs 10.6 pounds. And the Rhino USA is a little bit long at 30 feet and 8 inches. At a price of $169 is this Smitty Belt brand. Just like the Rhino USA, the Smitty Belt rope has a 1 inch diameter. Each rope has 12 carefully woven strands to provide better elasticity and strength. Breaking strength is at 30,000 pounds. Max elongation is 30%. The Smitty Belt is made in China. 8.87 pounds for the Smitty Belt. And the Smitty Belt is 29 feet and 9 inches. At a price of $233 is this Bubba Power Stretch Recovery Rope. Just like most of the other brands, it has a 7 8 inch diameter. Elongation is from 30 to 35 percent. It claims that the eyes are spliced to military spec. The Bubba Rope is made in USA. And the Bubba Rope weighs just over 9 pounds. And the Bubba Rope is just a little bit too long at 30 feet and 7 inches. At a price of $242, the most expensive rope we'll be testing is a Yankum rope which is used by Matt's Off-Road Recovery. This is the diameter rope used by Matt's Off-Road Recovery for the banana. Just like most of the other brands, it's a 7 8 inch rope. The Yankum rope is made in USA. And it's 8.175 pounds for the Yankum rope. And the Yankum rope is right at 30 feet. And weight is sometimes an indicator of quality, and the 1 inch Rhino USA is the heaviest at 10.65 pounds. The Bubba rope weighs 9.02 pounds, and Smitty built 8.87. What makes kinetic recovery ropes different than a chain or strap is elasticity. All the ropes have a working load of at least 7,000 pounds. So let's see how much stress the ropes experience with 7,000 pounds of force. And a Sergeant Knott's rope is at 980 pounds at one foot. And it's 1,875 pounds at two feet. And the force it takes to make it to three feet is 3,220 pounds. And it's 4,860 pounds at four feet. And a Sergeant Knott's is very close to five feet at 7,000 pounds. So that's actually pretty good at around 17% stretch at 7,000 pounds. The more these ropes stretch, the more kinetic energy you can gain with a tow vehicle without that sudden shock load you experience with a chain or strap. We know the ink lake is at 20 feet 2 inches under a small amount of tension, so I'll place the tape measure starting point at the start of the pool to make it easier to keep track of the progress. And the ink lake is about the same as the Sergeant Knots at 1 foot at 926 pounds. At 2 feet, the ink lake is less elastic at 2,264 pounds. 
At 3 feet, the N-Click has 500 pounds more resistance than the Sergeant Knots at 3,705 pounds. And it's at 5,800 pounds at 4 feet. And it's over for the N-Click at 54 inches or 6 inches less than Sergeant Knots. And the Fiery Red takes the most force yet to reach the 1 foot mark at 1,436 pounds. And the Fiery Red is at 2,462 pounds at 2 feet. And this is by far the least elastic rope yet at 4,172 pounds at 3 feet. And it's 6,355 pounds at 4 feet. And the Fiery Red is at 7,000 pounds at 51 inches or 9 inches less than the Sergeant Knots. And the Rhino USA is a one inch rope and it should take more force to stretch it compared to the previous three ropes. And the Rhino USA is at 1,016 pounds at a foot. And 2,598 pounds is the most force yet at two feet. And the Rhino USA continues to have the least amount of stretch yet at three feet at 4,319 pounds. And the Rhino just hit 7,000 pounds at four feet. And its midi build is also a one inch rope just like the Rhino USA. And its midi build takes a lot of force to stretch at 1,601 pounds at one foot. And it's almost double that at two feet at 3,500 141 pounds. At three feet, the Smitty Built takes by far the most force yet at 5,746 pounds. And the Smitty Built just hit the 7,000 pound load at 41 inches. So that's over a foot and a half less stretch compared to the Sergeant Knots. And the Bubba Rope is very stretchy at only 400 pounds at a foot. And the Bubba Rope has by far the most stretch yet at only 1,130 pounds at two feet. And it's at 1,931 pounds at three feet. And 2,887 pounds at four feet is about 2,000 pounds less than the Sergeant Knots. And the Bubba Rope is only at 4,682 pounds at five feet. And the Bubba Rope is the first rope in the lineup to make it to six feet at 7,000 pounds. And the Yankum and the Smitty Built are performing almost the same at 1,585 pounds at a foot. And the Yankum and Smitty Built are less than 200 pounds apart at two feet at 3,370 pounds. And the rope is at 5,798 pounds at three feet. And the Yankum and the Smitty Built are in a tie at 41 inches at 7,000 pounds. The Suburban wasn't able to move to Farmabago in two or four wheel drive using a chain. So let's see if the Suburban can move the Farmabago with the kinetic energy rope in two wheel drive. And Cousin Eddie says to get a rolling start from about seven feet. Cousin Eddie wanted a closer look, so he went down to the ground in a hurry. And the Suburban just moved the Farmer Bago about two feet. So starting off with seven feet of slack in the rope seems like the perfect amount. Let's go ahead and torture test the Suburban and the recovery ropes. I'll go ahead and place a board seven feet behind the back wheel of the Suburban. I'll back up to the board and apply 25 hits using each rope. And a Sergeant Knot seems to be holding up very well. After stretching the rope 25 times, the rope still seems to have plenty of stretch. Let's go ahead and measure the length of the Sergeant Knot's rope one more time. I'll apply just enough force to straighten the rope. When the Sergeant Knot's rope was new, it was 31 feet and 4 inches in length. After 25 stretches, the rope is now at 32 feet, 3 and a half inches. So Sergeant Knot's rope experienced 11 half inches of permanent stretch. And the click seems to be less stretchy than the Sergeant Knot's, but that's a pretty subjective assessment. And the Suburban's transmission is all original and has over 300,000 miles on it. I'm really hoping it survives this torture test. And the rope started off at 29 feet and 2 inches, and now it's at 30 feet, 4 and a half. So the Enclake experienced 3 more inches of permanent stretch compared to the Sergeant Knots. And Cousin Eddie is personally observing how the Fiery Red rope performs. And the Fiery Red seems to offer a little bit less stretch compared to the Sergeant Knots. However, the Fiery Red still seems to offer plenty of stretch, and there aren't any issues with shock load. And the Fiery Red started off at 30 feet and 9 inches, and now it's at 31 feet and 6 inches. So the Fiery Red just moved into the lead with only 9 inches of permanent stretch. And Cousin Eddie's a huge fan of safety and is moving away from the test area. Even though the Rhino USA is a one inch rope, I really can't tell much of a difference compared to the other ropes. And the Rhino USA started off at 30 feet and 8 inches and it's grown 10 inches to move into second place behind the Fiery Red's 9 inches. And Cousin Eddie is checking out the performance of the Smitty Built from a ground view perspective. Just like the Rhino USA, the Smitty Built is a one inch rope. And the Smitty Built definitely seems to be a little bit less stretchy than most of the other ropes. And the Smitty Built started off at 29 feet and 9 inches. And now it's at 30 feet 5 and 3 quarter inches to move into the lead over the Fiery Red. And with a name like Bubba Rope, Cousin Eddie's inspired to test the ropes like a Bubba. And Cousin Eddie just lost about 3 feet into the air. I think he's starting to regret that decision. Definitely not a good idea, Cousin Eddie. And Cousin Eddie is back on his feet, but no more testing Bubba style. And the Bubba Rope started off at 30 feet and 7 inches. And the rope is very stretchy, but it did stretch the most yet at 17 inches. With a name like Yankum, Cousin Eddie is standing back and he isn't taking any chances. And the Yankum rope is definitely a lot less stretchy compared to the Bubba Rope. And the vehicle is coming to a stop a lot faster compared to the Bubba Rope. And the Yankum rope started off at 30 feet and now it's at 30 feet and 9 inches. And its mini built experienced the least amount of rope stretch at 8 and 3 quarter inches, but the Fiery Red and the Yankum finished in a close second at 9 inches. Let's go ahead and test the ropes again to see how much stress the ropes offer at 7,000 pounds of force. When new, the Sergeant Knots was at 980 pounds at one foot of stretch and now it's at 1,297 pounds. 
2,558 pounds at 2 feet compared to 1,875 when new. And it's 4,547 pounds at 3 feet of stretch. When it was new, it took 7,000 pounds to stretch the Sergeant Knots rope at 5 feet, and now it's at 7,000 pounds at 4 feet. So the Sergeant Knots rope has lost 12 inches of elasticity. And the new ink lake rope stretched a total of 54 inches with 7,000 pounds of force. After 25 hits, the ink lake is at 41 inches, a loss of 13 inches of stretch. So the Sergeant Knots rope definitely has the advantage so far. And the fiery red was less stretchy than the Sergeant Knots in the ink lake at 51 inches when it was new. However, it did experience a lot less stretch after 25 pulls. The fiery red originally stretched 51 inches at 7,000 pounds, and now it's at 46. So that's by far the best yet at only 5 inches. With 7,000 pounds of force, the Rhino USA, when it was new, stretched 48 inches. And the Rhino USA just stretched 42.5 inches with 7,000 pounds of force. So that's only a 5.5 inch loss in elasticity. When this Smitty Belt was new, it made it to 7,000 pounds at 41 inches, and now it's at 7,000 pounds at 36. So this Smitty Belt is in a two-way tie with the Fiery Red for first place. And the Bubba Rope is by far the stretchiest rope at 72 inches at 7,000 pounds when it was new. And the Bubba Rope is still the stretchiest rope at 56 Six inches after 25 pulls. The Yank and Rope and New made it to 7,000 pounds at 41 inches. After 25 pulls, the Yank and Rope only lost 5 inches of stretch at 36 inches. So the Bubba Rope is still the stretchiest rope at 56 inches. Sergeant Knotts finished in second at 48 inches and Fiery Red 46. Looking at elasticity loss, the Fiery Red, Smitty Belt, and Yankum only lost 5 inches of stretch at 7,000 pounds of force. However, some of the other ropes started off longer than others. A more accurate analysis is to consider the percentage of elasticity loss based upon the original length of each rope. With 7,000 pounds of force, the Fiery Red only lost 9.8% of its stretch. Rhino USA finishes second at 11.5 and Smitty Belt and Yankum Rope tied for third at 12.2%. <laughs> After getting tripped up by the bubble rope, Cousin Eddie decided to drive down to the pond to relax. And Cousin Eddie has already gotten the Farmer Bagel stuck. He's trying to get out, but unfortunately there's some smoke coming from the tires. Fortunately, the front wheels are still on soft ground, but they're not in the water. Heavy rain is in the forecast, and Cousin Eddie needs to back away from the pond. So we're going to go ahead and use the bubble rope and the Suburban. And Cousin Eddie will be driving the Farmer Bagel, and I'll be driving the Suburban and two-wheel drive. Cousin Eddie, go ahead and put it in reverse, and when I say hit it, just come on back as fast as you can. <laughs> it did a good job of tossing him in the air, so he wants to use the bubble rope. Okay, Cousin Eddie, go ahead and hit it. And the Farmer Bagel is about to go on her maiden voyage. Don't worry about it, we got the bubble rope, and we'll get you out. And the front wheels are way down into the water now. And a Farmer Bagel weighs at least twice as much as a Suburban. So I'll go ahead and see if I can pull the Farmer Bagel out using just two-wheel drive going up a hill without any help from Cousin Eddie or the Farmer Bagel. So which rope is best? I think that really depends on what you're looking for. If you plan to use the recovery rope several times each week, the Fiery Red, Smitty Belt, and Yankum ropes experience less stretch after 25 pulls compared to Sergeant Knots and the Bubba Rope. Having made 177 pulls with seven different brands, I much prefer the Bubba Rope over all the other brands. I really like the more gradual wind up and the wind down compared to the other brands. However, it still ended up being the stretchiest rope after 25 pulls at 56 inches and 7,000 pounds. As far as durability, the rubberized coating on the end of the Sergeant Knots did experience some wear and tear, but the rope is still serviceable. And the fabric sleeve for the ink lake did a great job of protecting the rope. And the rubberized coating on the Fiery Red did experience more wear and tear compared to the previous two brands. However, the rope is still safe to use. Just like the ink lake, the fabric sleeve on the Rhino USA did a great job of protecting the rope end. Compared to Sergeant Knots and Fiery Red, the rubberized coating on a Smitty Belt definitely held up by far the best. It does have some paint stains on it, but it's in very good condition. Of all the rope ends with rubberized coatings, the bubble rope definitely looks to be in the best shape. There's very little wear and tear. And the rubberized coating on the Yankin rope seems to have held up about the same as the fiery red. There's definitely quite a bit of wear and tear. Let's cut open the Sergeant Knots rope. Inside the outer jacket, there's another woven rope. And the rope appears to have become very hot and it looks like the outer jacket melted onto the inner rope. A big thank you to everyone that requested testing the Kinetic Energy ropes. I had a lot of fun testing them, especially with the Farmer Bago and Cousin Eddie's help. All the videos in this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.